They're probably the most extra beauty product I've ever seen. I don't know, you could like knit with these or something. I'm gonna write my little calligraphy letter. So today we are testing Christian Louboutin's single eyeshadows and they look like a weapon. So this is very exciting. I'm going, I say that all the time, I realise, sorry. I'm just excited to be putting makeup on, what a hoot. I think that's how you say Louboutin. Not bougie enough for this brand, clearly. <laughs> They're probably the most extra beauty product I've ever seen and I've seen a lot. Considering they cost, I think they retail for like 38 pounds and there's just this much product in them. I feel like you want to get sort of a second use out of them and, I don't know, you could like knit with these or something. Obviously they're not going to fit in anyone's makeup bag, but they're super fancy. It, it really reminds me of a quill and, quill and ink. Like I'm going to write my little calligraphy letter. They're like a liquid formula, which is interesting, and they have a little brush um, which you can paint uh, the eyeshadow on with. And then I guess you just blend out with your finger or brush as you would a cream eyeshadow. Um, so there are a range of different colours. I am going to try one of these more metallic looking ones. Let's try at least. So look, if you see, it's all like creamy. It's like, it's like wet. It's really pigmented, but I'm hoping that I might be able to sheer it out with my finger. But if not, then please forgive me. <laughs> Here we go. I'll just apply a bit first and then give it a little blend. Okay. I'm just gonna apply it here. Ooh, it's really smooth. I feel like I'm painting my eyelid. As it's a liquid, I imagine that it'll dry quite quickly. So I'm gonna try and work fast with this formula. I mean, who uses black eyeshadow? Probably loads of people, and I've just missed the memo about it. I feel like it's a really odd, odd sort of texture. So I feel like I'm just used to used to using powders. I don't really know how to how to work this. I'm just going to quickly build it up, taking it up to kind of the crease of my eye. Like it's quite buildable. So you see there, the second layer, it's sort of built brought out a bit more of the rust kind of colour. Oh, this is going all right, actually. So I think I'm going to do smoky this bit and then maybe a colour over here. Is that what people do on Instagram? It feels like it's it's drying quite quickly, which is nice. I feel like it's going to last. OK, so I'm going to try the other eye, but with this time, I think I'm going to go in a bit quicker with the brush just to see if I can get that to blend a bit better. I can never do this because I'm, I'm right handed and it's just really awkward. So let's give this a wow, paint a bit on and then just pat it, I guess, like I did the first side. I actually think that they look really pretty. Um, and once you work out how to sort of frame the rest of the eye, I do think that it's quite a a sweet product, but 38 quid for one eyeshadow. No, not for me, I'm afraid. I feel like I'm just so used to sort of powders and blending different colors and layering that I, I don't think I could just, just use this one, one sort of color. Um, I would have to, I would have to add other colors and not sure about spending 38 pounds each on each each color but i'll maybe get it for the packaging it's so gorgeous so cute the packaging is ridiculous i'm all for being extra but that's out of control and it just it physically will not fit in my makeup bag quite fun but equally i don't know what i'm doing so maybe these are better for people that know what they're doing Whilst I think the formula is really good and it applied well and I can tell it's going to be long lasting because it's dried down, I just think, you know, your money could go so much further than one eyeshadow, as beautiful as this one eyeshadow is.